person who was born into this crest is called a Kanhada. So I, I am from the Kanhada clan. I became a real raven. Listen to ravens. I like to see what they do with the characters. I feed them. I take their feathers. I find, you know, when they're dead, I find them. I take them home. It's become um, something I want to be like a raven when I dance. Sometimes when I'm in a, in a good place and the energy is there, I don't want to stop dancing then. But I want to be this raven. To, to, you know, to, to dance in Europe, to dance in Germany, to dance wherever I'm at, to feel this energy from the people who watch this and appreciate it. That makes me feel good and he's a messenger and connector to a great spirit in the sky. He's done a lot of much, many things. He's very tricky, he's very mischievous, he's everything. I found that uh, a big majority of the people who bought for me were German based, who spoke uh, German and came from Germany in various countries that spoke German. They were very friendly, very respectful. How they kept the Roman Empire out of out of their territories and you know and uh, you know how big the Roman Empire was at that time and yet they couldn't you know they couldn't conquer the German people. It all came combined together and I and so I wanted to leave Canada and um, explore a little bit since I was over 37 years in the reservation and um, so I came over to Germany. I ask you, what are you? I'm an Indian. What kind of Indian? A Sinsian. <coughs> and so it went on until I found my way, my, my, you know, my, my native name, how I got it and started looking in deeper into this culture. And as I let, looked deeper into this culture, my grandfather started teaching me more. And so I learned um, to carve, but I had no discipline to my carvings. It was, you know, I just carved and whatever felt right for me was, was like that. So I shared the experiences, I shared the stories, I shared the music. I want the people not to forget you know, they can read Karl May. They can see all the plains people dancing. They can see powwows over here. But there's only none, one Northwest Coast native piece and living in Europe here who presents this. And this makes a great opportunity for my people to be never forgotten over in Europe. And I feel like an ambassador over here. Girls, 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 girls. Girls, 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 and women, of course. <laughs> no, it's very, it's very interesting because in this area, uh, east and east and west meet here. The two cultures of two different worlds of Europe and uh, and the eastern eastern bloc, eh? And then what they call the, um, the Middle East and that, like Egyptian and these kind of people that come from there. And the mixture of uh, of the people from European culture to here is uh, you'll see the the features and everything from the people. And a lot of them have uh, very beautiful characteristics, like native people: the high cheekbones, the dark skin, the dark hair, dark eyes. And yeah, it's, it's a very unique mix. And that all combined together makes it a, a very interesting uh, ethnic soup. They call it. People meeting, people marrying, people having children, and these people also. Okay. Rehab, oh, that's for me. Yeah. When you want babies? <laughs> Target oh. outdoor. Oh, how cool! The military store. My brother is fanatical about uh, German, German helmets and stuff like that. Boots. He's into the what they call the Third Reich, but he liked to, the memorabilia stuff he collect. When you find it over in Germany, buy it. It got get crazy. It'll kill me. Yeah, my my middle brother, Herbert. He was he got into an accident, I guess, when he's a kid and got hit with a car, and he has a plate in his head. So he's, sometimes he's a little bit out of it. But other than that, he's okay. He's a good worker and everything, but. 
And we find out early, later that um, when he was in uh, residential school, mm -hmm. yeah, they also abused him there. And so when he drank and that, it come all come out then, all this stuff, and mm -hmm. he gets a little bit lost in himself then. And we find out later what, what it was in the residential school that comes out when he drinks then, eh? Open the door then. How the people are here in the system of uh, policing and that, it's, it's beautiful. We have no con I have no conflicts with them here. I have no conflicts with police or any lawmaking uh, groups in that here. As opposed to Canada, eh, where I come from. For that, it's, it's great for me. I, I can dress this normal, put a pair of sunglasses on, walk down the street, and I'm not an Indian. I'm just a normal, crazy person living in Vienna. It's not a, what they call a traditional pole. It's not made out of only one specific crest for one family. Because in the bottom here, I have a, a bear mother, called the bear mother story, where the bear captures the princess and, and uh, marries her and has children with her. And then the process goes through it. And this crest belongs to some a family, a wolf family. And the next one is, uh, is a raven on here. And this one's a young raven, or the beginning of, of a young raven. When he was very young, his beak is still small, he's very immature yet. And this, this is a basic raven, because raven is a, is a story that is told up and on the coast, or many different uh, versions of them. And on top, the person wanted to have what they call a supernatural eagle or a thunderbird. And so I made, made this, this poll for them, specifically how they wanted to crest in that. And at the end, they contacted me when I was finished and told me that they spent their money on holidays and they couldn't buy this poll, so I, I just keep it with me now and maybe one day it will be sold. But it's okay, it's, it's nice, it's been around for a while and it has a nice, nice uh, patina on there and has a has a good uh, history of exhibits and travels and that. So whoever whoever will, will one day have this pull will be will have a good energy out of this. And who all of this native or no? This was a German lady from from a television uh, station. I won't mention the name of the station, but Hessener uh, Funk. My name is Clayson Benali. Clayson Benali Dasha Jene, Torichini Basha Shin Adonaka Dene Dashanele, and the Tajin Dane Ayesina Shat, Shamae Beethichi, Dawayegi. And my name is Clayson Benali. I am from the Navajo Nation. Um, we call ourselves Dene, and I have a group with my sister performing rock and roll, kind of post punk. And our group is called Sihasen. People have this romanticized image of native people. You know, it's funny because you know the youth back home on their reservation. You know, they have a big interest in knights in shining armor and you know castles, and that for them is interesting. First time we came to Europe, we were shocked when we saw people, Euro Indians or hobbyists, and it was very, very hard for us, you know. And 
to confront it and to talk to people about it. And oftentimes people would get offended when we talk to them. Why do you wear an eagle feather? You know, what does this mean to you? Because for us, you know, it's, it's not for everybody. You have to be initiated. You have to have, go through a process. And it's something very special. You know, it's not just for playing around. You know, we don't mess around with it. It's for ceremony is very particular. Maybe this is an opportunity. They were asking me about some of the books that you write. Hop in here. Yeah. So. Oh, it just came Maybe. Because I know we were having this discussion yesterday about some of those. You know, just trying to accurately portray some of the the different tribes and nations yes. and just Stay so maybe you could explain to me a little bit of the books that you write if that would be okay uh, yeah mostly it's about Lakota people because I speak the language yeah. and um, uh, the, um, and sometimes uh, one of my books is about a Blackfeet warrior woman mm -hmm. and because they had a society of, of those women it was interesting and, um, and she gets in contact with the Lakota young men and uh, both tribes uh, uh, did buffalo hunting but um, it was completely different so the culture of the Blackfeet is different than the culture of the Lakota people but for German people they are just the same because they are buffalo hunters and live in teepees and so on you know but it, they have complete different societies and uh, in, in my book I play a little bit with the differences be between those tribes because they have misunderstandings of and 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 uh, the reaction or even how they would what they would eat is different yeah. and so this is kind of funny too because you have those misunderstandings not only between a woman and a man but between those tribes mm -hmm. The history is all uh, done by research, so all the things, all the histor historical facts are true, but the people I put in um, are fictionists. So many history books are written like that, where people would come, missionaries would come to our reservation, and their interest at the time were, was to convert and to change the people. Yeah. So they would learn the language, but they, if they were to document anything, of course it's biased, and then you know, somebody might have communicated something in a negative way. They might have come very pushy and said, okay, tell us about your culture, tell us who you are. And then they'd go off telling them just a load of uh, uh, bullshit. <laughs> A lot of things that people know as, you know, concrete facts, history, you know, it's all based on, you know, a bad interaction with somebody. And sometimes, you know, people... You know, they see a stereotype or an image and they, they get stuck in that, that era, you know, and they think, oh, this is the only way, this is how it is, and this is how it must be done, you know. So we, we look to those those answers and those solutions. And we confront, you know, things and deal with it one step at a time.
Chief Seattle also said one day there would be a movement of American Indians. And so that's where American Indian movement came from. And, uh, before that, I worked in the aerospace industry. So I was already used to being in an office type environment and all these technical things. For you. <laughs> 1969, we were arrested for sun dancing at Wounded in South Dakota. Uh, and when they came, the, the, the Bureau of Indian Affairs police, all Indians came. That was the third morning of a, of a four-day ceremony. And this was the third morning. That morning, it rained, it hailed, it snowed early in the morning. So we knew this day would be. And so that's when Koda came to the old man. I said to God, you're the spokesman. Hi, brother. How you doing, brother? Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Alle Kinder. Did you see those eagles that came over? Und habt ihr schon gesehen, dass hier ein ein Adler vorbeifliegt? They know. They know. We're finally our children are beginning to sense the energy of nature. It's about love. Es ist eigentlich geht zum Liebe. Not so much the word love, but the energy of love. Nicht um das Wort Liebe, sondern das was Liebe als Energie ist. Stay mit Kinder und alles Leben. Dankeschön für diesen Tag. If someone would just say, uh, we're sorry, we're apologizing, and be serious about it, that would make me feel good, and I'm sure it would make, you feel, it would make us all feel better, right? We start thinking a different, right? One leader of the world, president, uh, consular, premier, uh, egal, got up on maybe television or something so that it would be heard, or maybe the Pope. I don't know about the Pope. But anyway, if they got up and said, uh, we apologize. Well, the Pope, Pope John, he came to the States, okay? Uh, the certain ones of my people, gave him a pipe bag and a pipe, okay? So then they came to me and asked me if I would run a sweat lodge for the Pope. Yeah, <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> there were several planets that had life on them, okay? If you look back and you listen to the story, they said God came and didn't, wasn't, wasn't happy, so he destroyed the world, right? That wasn't here. He destroyed the planet heaven. Uh, all these things. I understand if 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 someone got that ear to that mad. Uh, but if you made something, if you if 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 I was the one who had a hand in making life the way it is, if I if I could design this and make it, well, I wouldn't want it to be destroyed. A, a long time ago, by my tribe, my my nation, I was turned into an altar for the children. Okay? That was one of the things that they that they asked me to accept. Right? We did it in the ceremony, old people. Uh, there's no way I could deny it. I wouldn't even think of denying it. All I had to do was be an image. Uh, 
the energies were already here. You know, and I was just one who represented something. Right? I didn't bring the energies. They were already here. Yeah, when they come and, and uh, tell me their names. I teach mental technology. That's the language of the earth. Okay. It's been here forever. These names are frequencies. They're not so much names, but they're, they are identifications. And uh, so we're tapped into that, right? And we've been communicating. So the, you think about it, think about when a bird sings here. Think about that going all the way around the earth, right? Why would someone want to destroy a planet and say the people were that terrible that I had to destroy it? Why would anybody want to do that? If you had your, if it were me and, and for instance, Goodwin was there and I was going to destroy this planet, she'd probably say, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you didn't ask me. And I say, what? I don't need to ask you. <laughs> so something like this, this is life. This is life. When you come to this planet, you have to be a human. That's why we don't see no more giants. Because they, they, and the sons of gods, wed with daughters of men. So we're all mixed together, right? Uh, and that's our connection. But we've been made to think that we're, we're so different. We come from different places, yes. But we've been here on this planet. And we all have the sense of wherever we come from, okay? Whatever planet we come from, if, if it were different planets, yes, whichever one we came from, we must have loved that planet. We must have loved it. So the same love must be applied here, okay? That's one of the steps, right? I told these children that. Yeah. Good run. She's going to build a fire. For you? Uh -huh. Oh, good. Do you count? A ho. A ho. Good. And here comes Umada. What are they doing now? They're going to build a fire by this, by the stone circle. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's go down. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Well, I mean, I've learned a lot here about, I can't say I know everything about the Deutsch, but I know a lot about your people here. I've learned a lot. It's just come to me. And, uh, but they don't know nothing about me. When, they, when you see an Indian, he has a, a cloth band around his head. They had nothing like that. They dressed that way. They weren't fat. It, it's kind of like I said earlier, uh, that's all they know about us. That's what they expect of me. Hier am Medizinrad, das ist sozusagen das Herz vom, vom Kinderwald, das energetische Herz. Hier finden wir alle vier Bausteine des Lebens. Das ist die Erde. Da vorne finden wir die Luft, da seht ihr noch die Reste im Baum hängen. Da hinten, da ist eigentlich eine Schale mit Wasser. Und dieses Rad dreht sich, wenn wir da rum stehen und wenn wir da rum rum, rum tanzen. Und das sorgt für Kraft und Energie auf diesem Platz. So glauben es die Indianer. Coal from South Africa is the cheapest now here because 
We are we are grassroots connections with you and I. And she came to check me out. She was very powerful, very powerful me. Um, I'll just say this, this is um, we have a very personal private life. Um, sometimes it, to me it's it's uh, I'm not a man who cries. I, 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 I have. I, I've cried more here since oh, I've, yes, I've yes, experienced yes, some yes, sensitivity. Yes, it's emotion. Oh. I've experienced that with this lady. And uh, I'm quite uh, grateful. I was born in a tent by the river, the Little Bighorn River. You ever heard of the Little Bighorn River? Right there, right there. On the top of the hill was Custer Battlefield. Okay. And my father uh, was uh, one of those who worked on the steel in the east the buildings, and he was also he worked for building battleships against Germany uh, in, in a shipyard. And, but he was responsible for building the hospital and most of the agency that they call Pro Agency where I was born. This house had been used by the Third Reich for experimenting on women and their children to produce the, um, reproduce the Aryan race. Es hat sich so ergeben, dass ich hier geblieben bin, weil bin ich vor ein paar Jahren mit einer Gruppe von Freunden sind wir gekommen und haben wir auch Auftritte gemacht von, von diesen Tänzen. Und bei einem Auftritt habe ich auch meine, meine erste Frau kennengelernt. Ja, und so, ist, so hat sich ergeben, dass äh, ja, bin ich hier hängen geblieben bin. Ich komme ursprünglich aus Mexiko, aus Mexico City. Und ich lebe hier in, in Frankfurt seit, äh, seit ein paar Jahren. Und das, äh, was, was ich heute, 
heute und hier am Wochenende gezeigt habe. Das ist ein, ein Teil von meiner Kultur und, und von meiner Tradition, das wir immer noch äh, pflegen äh, zu, zu bestimmten Anlässen. Es sind, es sind Tänze, die sind in unseren Augen eine Selbstopferung. Es ist eine Opfergabe, was wir bringen für die, für, für die, als, als Gegenzug für das, für das Leben, das wir bekommen. Und da kam zum Vorschein, dass eins meiner Carmen auf jeden Fall in Nordamerika liegt und eins in Mittelamerika, sprich aztekisch. Und das ist ein sehr, sehr starkes Karma. Und ich freue mich auch, dass wir uns dass heute auf der Power zwei Tänzer aus Mexiko hier waren, denn ich war selber in Mexiko. Ich habe auch die Tänzer auf dem Socala in Mexico City gesehen und bin dort auch eingewiesen worden und gesegnet worden. Und obwohl ich heute nordamerikanische Tracht trage, ist meine ureigentliche Mission, das aztekische Erbe hier in meinem Heimatland zu vertreten und damit bin ich in Mexico City auch beauftragt worden. Dass die indianischen Kulturen untereinander, egal ob Nord, Mitte oder Süd, sich verstehen, miteinander umgehen lernen und fair miteinander umgehen. Und dass die, die nicht aus dem indianischen Bereich kommen und meinen, es haben das Ganze erfunden zu haben, was wir heute hier auch schon wieder erlebt haben, dass diese Leute man lernen müssen, etwas genauer hinzuschauen. Insofern bin ich unheimlich glücklich gewesen, dass gerade die beiden heute da waren. Und das äh, ist es ja irgendwo ein Kampf, wenn man auf eine Veranstaltung, ja, eine Veranstaltung geht und dann in der Zekischer Tracht da aufschlägt. Ja, das hat Zekisch und das passt nicht. Und heute waren zwei Leute aus Mexiko hier, die es von Kindesbein an gelernt haben und die die Sache so toll vertreten haben. Ich bin so stolz auf die Leute und ich bin so froh, dass sie mir dabei mithelfen. Da wollte mir jemand beibringen, wie der Grand Entry auszusehen hat und wenn ich keine Startnummer gezogen habe, dass ich dann nichts im Grand Entry zu suchen habe. Ist mir aber ein Herr zur Hilfe gekommen, ein guter Freund von mir, nämlich mein Lehrer. Und der hat die gute Dame dann aufgeklärt, wie die Pawas in den Staaten ablaufen und dass das sehr wohl absolut in Ordnung geht. Ja, ich denke, ich denke schon, es ist ein großer Unterschied, ja, das in dir zu haben. Und anders als, äh, wir sagen in Mexiko, äh, Indianer zu spielen am Wochenende. Weil, ja, es, es ist schön. Ja, äh, ich finde ganz, ganz toll die, die, die keltische Kultur. Ja, aber ich weiß es nicht. Ich zumindest, ich würde mich nicht wohlfühlen, wenn ich mich so ein, ein keltische Tracht anziehen würde. Und in Mexiko würde ich da Mittelaltermark machen zum Beispiel. Ja. Ich respektiere es, ja, weil es ist äh, auch die, ja, die Meinung von den, wie, wie die Leute, oder, oder es, es ist wie die Leute sind, die Indianer. Ja. Auf einer Seite ist es positiv, aber auf der anderen Seite ist es negativ, weil es wird stilisiert oder verkitscht, was du gesagt hast. Weil den Indianern es ist es nicht nur Gutes, ja. es gibt auch schlechte Zeiten. Ich war eingeladen beim Urenkel von Sitting Bull letztes Jahr, bei Ernie Lapointe. Und äh, er und seine Frau, die haben auch so viele Dinge gezeigt und Plätze gezeigt, wo kein normaler Tourist hinkommt. Also wirklich äh, sehr historische Plätze. Und äh, wir waren da auf dem Weg in die Badlands und da stand dann ein kleiner Pickup-Truck an der Straße und ein junger Lakota, ein junger Porsche. Und der hat da gestoppt und dem ist der Sprit ausgegangen. Und den Ernie hatten den mitgenommen zur nächsten Tankstelle, die über eine Stunde entfernt war. Und dann kam er so ins Gespräch und als er dann mitbekam, ich bin Deutscher, dann hat er sich erstmal kaputt gelacht. Ich denke so, jetzt wird es spannend. Er lachte dann, bis wir an der Tankstelle waren und dann hat ihm ein Einlaufstutzen gefehlt. Er wusste nicht, wie er den Sprit jetzt in seinen Truck reinkriegt, den Tank. Und dann sah ich die leeren Plastikflaschen, die äh, Wasserflaschen auf seiner Ladefläche und 
habe dann das Messer raus und habe es abgekappt und Trichter gebaut. Und das hat ihn ein bisschen beeindruckt scheinbar, weil es eigentlich eine einfache Lösung war. Aber da hat er mich dann respektiert. Er lachte dann nicht mehr so. Und so kam er dann ins Gespräch und er erzählte mir dann, er hat jetzt eine Anstellung als Koch in Rapid City im indianischen Restaurant. Und ansonsten sagt er, wenn es dann nicht klappt und jetzt kommt es, äh, dann verkauft er wieder Namen an irgendeine dumme Deutsche. Sei wie verkauft. Ja, sagt er, äh, es gibt so viele, die weiß Gott was dafür geben, wenn, wenn sie irgendwas von einem Indianer direkt bekommen, unter anderem einen Namen. Er lässt sich dann immer was einfallen. Es läuft dann alles übers Internet. Er verspricht, er wird eine Zeremonie machen. Er geht noch zuvor auf Visionssuche, damit er auch den richtigen Namen kriegt vom großen Geist. Das glauben die Leute denn. Und dann kassiert er. Sagt er, da kommt er ganz gut über die Runden. Jetzt war natürlich für mich sein Lachen verständlich.